Hello everyone, welcome back to, to the Toy Grid. My name is Dismaster and I'm bringing you another toy review. So yeah, it's been a while since um, I did another review. I know I had the last uh, review I did was the the Star Wars um, Clone Wars figures that from Target, you know, Anakin and Obi-Wan and also Echo. But it just, um, I was planning to do uh, Ventress, as you see right here, I have her right in front of me. Uh, during that time, but it just I was really looking forward to my to my break So I just took the time and just enjoy myself and before I go back to school. So yeah uh, I decided to go back now because you know, I did promise I was going to do more figures review um, Along the way so so yeah, I'm back. Um, I'm doing another Figure review today. So like I said in my last video, I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna be doing Asash Ventress from the Clone Wars era. Uh, so yeah, she's the, uh, a black series that she came out uh, quite recently. And yeah, um, I'm, I'm sure some of you seen um, uh, reviews of her already because she came out, you know, a few months back. So so yeah, I wanted to do the review now because, um, like I said uh, earlier, but. But also, I just wanted to get my opinion about her, and also a few other Star Wars figures that I have. I had uh, Count Dooku and Grievous, so I'm gonna be doing them also separately review. So, so for right now, um, I'm starting off with Ventress. So, so yeah, as you can see, I got Ventress um, out of the box, and and yeah, she looks great. And also, I kept the box so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty pretty much. Uh, it has a little dust on it, but yeah, it has, um, it's the new box, um, uh, display that it has, uh, Asajj Ventress, like, on the side, like, the image promo, like, the art style they did, it looks really great, she looks really cool, um, that image right there, but yeah, uh, this is the box when you, if you find her in store, this is what, uh, it will look like, and also, here is an image of the back, um, the art style, and also, if you want to, like, I don't know if you can see it from here, but yeah, it shows that uh, quick bio that an assassin trained in the ways of the dark side by Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress, you're to be considered, uh, consider it a true Sith, but such a status it wasn't allowed under the Sith rule of two. So, so yeah, that's pretty much what it says on her bio. That was my first time reading her bio. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, um, but yeah, that's a, about it for the box, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna show you real quick uh, Sash Ventress, what she comes with, and what's her articulation, and what she's, uh, what she's definitely all about. So yeah, let's get through it, right, right on through it. So before we get through um, Sash Ventress, I um, wanted to show you the two um, accessories piece that she comes with, uh, the two items that she comes with. She comes with her two iconic um, double-bladed uh, separate lightsabers. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to focus my camera so you can see. So yeah, um, I really like how the lightsaber looks. It looks pretty nice and neat and it's a really nice um, it's a really nice painted uh, lightsaber for sure. Uh, the only thing um, I didn't like about it um, is the the two pegs right here, but uh, um, the two pegs right here actually is for the uh, for her to to put her, her lightsabers away that she put it in front of her belt. So I will show you that in just a uh, quick sec, and I'll explain why I, I didn't like these two pegs right here. But but yeah, uh, the purpose of these two pegs is to put her uh, lightsabers and in front of her belt. And yeah, um, yeah, I kind of count this as a as a whole piece pretty much uh, I know you can uh, detach the blades so pretty much in total she has four accessories pretty much like separate blades and then you can attach to them to make it one um, two solid pieces you know separately but but yeah and and pretty much this is what what it does and also I wanted to show you real quick that um you know um if you've seen the show clone wars she can put her um even though their blades are separate separately uh yeah they're separate you can um these there's a hole right here like in a peg right here so you can attach these together 
and she has like um a solid like double bladed united um lightsaber kind of like dark maul in a way you know he has his double bladed um lightsaber uh, attached together but this one you know th that could be disattached but put attached together when she's like in her serious mode and she wants to like um uh you know battle with two or more opponents pretty much but yeah uh I, I really like this feature it's from the show and i think it's a uh, really nice way to implement it here in in figure in figure mode so so yeah that, that it's nice that you get that option to to do this with these uh with, with the weapons so yeah so yeah let's get right to ventress so here is ventress you guys and i gotta say for um for this figure like it does a, a new sculpted figure for her um i know that she came out like back then but in a smaller smaller scale now she's in a six inch scale and she came out pretty good i really like how they did um they did uh her figure uh the way it's designed because it it, it looks straight out of the clone Wars series and she looks really good i really like that the option they went went for for this figure uh that she wears um pretty much a skirt like a lawn drove um if i'm saying it right um robe so uh, like skirt robe so uh, like under here and i like that is um it's not like a plastic um skirt like robe skirt like it's not plastic like uh, some figures when they do clo clothing they it make it plastic it's more like a fabric that they, they, they use fabric and i really like the option they went for uh and yeah it's it's more and the material is really soft when like when you touch it and you feel it it's really soft and it's really nice um yeah and when it comes to to ventress uh, she looks really good i really like um her hep sculpt and i really like uh, what they're doing with the figures nowadays they have like the neck um articulation here as you can see uh, it, it, I really like that a lot because it used to be just um, staying in, still the neck piece and just the head joint like the head just moving up and down most of the time so yeah so I really like that they are doing that now and yeah for, for Ventress design is straight out of pretty much a season one two and, and two of of the Clone Wars and I know later on she changed outfits but yeah pretty much it is a straight interpretation of the first um, and second se uh, seasons of Clone Wars and I really like um, they did the uh, what's it called um, I don't know what this called but it just she always has this like around her belt but it's pretty much um, I like the, the design aspect they went for it and it's really um, nice um, gold. They use paint for the for the molding for of this belt piece, and I really like it. Um, it looks really nice. Um, yeah, uh, the colors for Ventress is uh, her skin tone, and also the clothes looks really nice. I, I really don't have this problem with this uh, any problems with the figures uh, with the figure how it looks temporarily uh, but I really like um not really like, sorry I'm twisting my uh, like my words around but uh even though I like her appearance there's a lot of stuff going on um that's limit her articulation and I will show what it is like for example like um her skirt like robe skirt like right here even though it looks nice um there's some times when you're trying to post the figure um, steady up. Um, right now, it's standing, um, it's standing just fine. But there's some times like when I, I recently put it on my shelf and she falls. And when you're trying to like figure it out, her to stand well, sometimes the robe gets in the way and sometimes she just falls like, for example, like I put it right here and then sometimes she falls like this. Um, yeah. I didn't intentionally, but I'm just showing you that's what happens sometimes when I'm trying to pose her. So I'm just trying to let you guys know to watch out for that. That sometimes you think, oh, you got her still, but 
with the rope uh, robe in the way and all that it falls at times and sometimes this piece right here um, when you're trying to get her to stand that sometimes this um, I really don't know the name of, of this but the bell piece of the robe like it will help her stand at times because it's so long and it's like stays right here um, making her stand um, still and when you're trying to get um, her articulation movements like with the robe um, here like when you uh, try to get her apart that's how far she goes um, and also uh, if you try to get more out of her um, this is how far that, that she will go um, because um, you know I, I kind of wish they did this because I know in the show they have her um, to take off her uh, skirt piece like robe skirt piece whatever it's called um i know she can take it off like with her belt and then she fights without wearing this and i kind of wish uh we had the option for her to like to take it off so also when she's fighting seriously because hey we see that in the show she can't she can take this off and then fights more seriously when she wants to so so yeah and yeah it just um uh, you can get good posters out of her either way but it just just keep that in mind sometimes the robe right here just gets in the way and it, it's a little bit irritating but overall um look wise representational representational wise it looks good and uh for articulation she has like one si single elbow joint like doesn't have double jointed elbows so that's how far her elbows will go yeah, for both sides and like I said for her head articulation can go pretty much well up and down she could look up and down very good um, she could have head swivel like crazy if she if you want to turn her head 360 um, yeah and her waist can go all the way 360 also and yeah and her articulation on the legs are pretty good also now double jointed um elbows uh, i mean knees <laughs> um and also uh, her ankle is pretty good too so yeah um overall not much to say for the figure because um she doesn't come with like a lot of accessory just to uh, she only comes with two lightsabers so pretty much this is Ventress, this is what she comes with, and she looks really good. I really, um, I'm happy I was able to get her because I, I could put her on my shelf with, uh, with Anakin and Obi-Wan and also Dooku and Grievous, like part of the Clone Wars um, shelf that I'm doing right now. Um, so yeah, before I end this, I wanted to show you um, what she looked like um, with her lightsaber on uh have her her holding her lightsabers to show you what it looks like and, and it's good sometimes um i had a couple issues when her her hand kind of like uh was were loose and when i try to put the the lightsaber um it kind of it kind of falls off um at times but right now it's working pretty well um sometimes um like i said the pegs right here for her lightsabers are in the way so it could, you know, uh, it's kind of like, sometimes gets a little bit annoying, but there's other times it's helpful when, when you put the lightsaber on and it doesn't fall off for her hands. Oh yeah, before, um, um, yeah, before I forgot to mention, uh, when you detach like the blades, um, these um, around her belt, if you can see there's two peg holes here, um, you could use the the pegs right here installing the lightsaber to put it right here and you put it like this um let's see if i can get it right in there um uh, okay i'm in trouble right now um, two hours later so yeah this is how you install her lightsaber around her belt it, it looks okay um, I know sometimes she can put it on her back, like back of the belt, but I know she puts it in the front also. I mean, it looks okay. Um, I'm not going to display her like this. 
um, on my shelf, I'm gonna have her holding her light, um, holding her lightsabers, ignite it. Um, but yeah, but um, if you want to take photos of her, if you're doing um, toy photography or photography in general, and you want to take a photo of Ventress, um, yeah, you can have her with her lightsaber put away, like she's talking with Dooku, Dooku or Grievous or anything like that, or with a battle droids, whatever. Uh, you could do that. Um, yeah, and overall, it's good. Um, like I said, it's a solid figure for the price we're getting, like around 20 bucks. So yeah, I if you're a fan of the Clone Wars and Ventress, I highly uh, recommend her for sure. So for a side comparison, here is Ventress alongside with Green Ranger Tommy. Here is Ventress alongside with SPD Pink Ranger. Here alongside is Ventress with Endor Luke. Here is Ventress alongside with Marvel Legends uh, Scarlet Witch and with Vision. And here is Ventress alongside with NECA's uh, Super Shredder. And here guys, here is uh, a comparison of uh, Ventress when she came out um, in 2008 alongside with her new Black Series 6 inch figure. To see, uh, I just wanted to show you the comparison. I really had this figure for a long time. So yeah, when I recently got her, I wanted to show you the how vastly like the majority, like uh, the differences that we got from the three inch uh, 2008 um, Clone Wars figures to the six inch uh, Black Series. And yeah, um, pretty much they got the look down for Ventress as they did back then. The, the official look that she had in the animated series and then they added her in the show um recently like for the for the black series so they did a combination of anime um the animated uh, appearance look but also a realistic um um uh, the the live action um and movies pretty much so uh, pretty much realistically so she looks here more human wise than here she looks more animated but yeah I just wanted to show you the comparison and they look <laughs> they look like a modern daughter uh, duo so so yeah I really I really I'm happy that I kept this one right here for all these years just to do the comparison well that's it for this video you guys thank you for watching I, I hope you enjoyed this video and again uh, I will make uh, the other videos I I told myself I was gonna uh, review um, so yeah uh, be on the lookout for that uh, so yeah, if you're interested in getting your hands on Ventress, uh, Ventress, uh, I know she's been out for a while. So yeah, if you if you are interested in getting her, um, I would say yeah, don't don't miss out because she's a really cool uh, character, and also she's um, this is a really good figure of her that they did. And so yeah, um, if you're a really big fan of her, um, yeah, don't miss out. Um, again, if you're not really a hardcore um, Clone Wars fan or anything like that, uh, it, like you're a fan of Star Wars in general, but not like not really favorite during the uh, not your favorite uh, Clone Wars era or something like that, you can you know you can skip it and go to to the ones that you want want to collect. So that's okay either way. But overall, uh, I think this is a really good figure. Um, and if you want to pass pass it out. Um, uh, you can do so but again if you want uh, just saying if you want to plan you get on your hands on her later might might be a little bit difficult uh, right now she she's at a, a regular market price so if you I'm just saying if you're planning to get it later just try not to wait too long or and the, my, the price might go up if you do so there there has been some figures in the past that I wanted that I decided to wait and then all of a sudden the you know the price skyrocketed so yeah just um if you plan on doing that just keep on on, on watch out for the prices and stuff like that but yeah overall um again i uh, hope you like the video and if you want to see more you, you know just hang around on the channel and again um hopefully i'll, I'll get more uh, my figures review out uh again i just wanted to take time off for myself and stuff like that so and again, this is a hobby of mine that I really enjoy collecting figures and stuff like that. And when I wanted to make um, 
uh, my toy review channel. I just wanted to do it um, because it's fun. It seems fun. And also, uh, I just wanted to share my hobbies with, with everybody. That it, it is a fun thing um, to do to collect and also to share with others the, the same passion um, that, that I have, like the same. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I just want to say thank you uh, for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. So take care. Bye.